I've had conversations with people um, around government and uh, advising government who are stunned to just hear how fast you could, for instance, build a wind turbine. Uh, this is something excellently done by Britain Remade, where they just showed you could connect, build up a wind turbine in, I think, about a day. Um, and yet it'll take us years for a wind turbine to go somewhere. This is completely and utterly not how you can industrialize a country. It is not how you sustain uh, any kind of uh, modern economy. Or rather, if you don't allow these things to happen, you accrue this debt that we are now paying. So the, the, the way of getting out of this is they need to be brave. They need to have very clear plans. And those plans need to be, uh, take your assumption, as we should be building uh, a wind turbine in two days, uh, wind farms in a few weeks, we should justify every single addition on top of that. And that does also mean very difficult conversations uh, around things like judicial review. And by difficult conversations, I mean dramatic restrictions on judicial review. Uh, it means uh, actually leaving some international treaties on, for instance, making sure that we have this very bizarre situation where if you launch a judicial review on environmentalist causes, uh, you uh, are essentially uh, capped at the amount that uh, of fees that you have to pay even if you lose this is violates hundreds of years of british law violates hundreds of years of precedent that make it very clear to stop people having frivolous lawsuits that if they have a frivolous lawsuit they bear the cost we've uh, exempted a whole category of frivolous lawsuits from this and so we get many of them this is obviously completely wrong and should be stopped immediately Yes, you're talking there about the, the Aarhus Convention, I think, yes. which uh, people like Chris Todd at the Transport Action Network have notoriously just been throwing in uh, these uh, judicial reviews that they know they're going to lose. Uh, but it, co it delays things hugely and costs the government hundreds of millions. But uh, the, the challenge is whether Keir Starmer, particularly with his legal background, his commitment to the rule of law and international treaties and so forth, is really going to have the, the stomach to, to pull us out of that, of that convention. 